could happen here to the world's biggest city. The towering metropolis of New York is alerted to it, however, by the nation's biggest civil defense drill. When two imaginary A-bombs hit, the city's full force of 332,000 civil defense volunteers go into action. One bomb has reportedly dropped in the Manhattan Bronx area, and here in Brooklyn, the other one has struck. Smoke pots simulating fires, the absence of streetlights, and the blocking of traffic give an eerie realism to the drill. Going about their tasks, policemen, firemen, and civil defense workers work grimly serious in spite of some levity among spectators. Arriving on the scene, top officials, including Mayor Impelitari and Defense Commissioner Arthur Wallander. The drill provides lessons for every U.S. city. For his fellow Americans, Commissioner Wallander has advice on what to do, for example, if attending a movie theater. If you are seated in this theater, at the time the alert sounds, obey the instructions of the management. He will require that you remain in your seats and don't fail to follow the manager's instructions. Thank you. The vivid pantomime of actual attack made New York appear for a time like war blitzed London. One prayed, of course, that a real attack should never happen. But the grim fact was that it could. So for thousands of civil defense workers to learn lessons, for millions in the entire nation to pay heed, New York City carried out a dramatic dress rehearsal for disaster. 